Welcome to Minitab Express, software for teaching, learning, and performing introductory statistics. In this video, we'll explore the components that make up the Minitab Express workspace and how they're used in the course of a sample analysis. These components include the output pane, where results of analyses are displayed, the navigator, which keeps track of the different analyses you've run during a session, and the data pane, where worksheet data resides. Let's take a closer look at each of these components. Anytime you run an analysis, your results appear in the output pane. Just right-click anywhere in the output to copy it into a report, print out a hard copy, or save it as an image. Best of all, if you're not sure how to interpret any part of your analysis, click Help. Minitab Express offers step-by-step, easy-to-understand guidance to help you interpret your output. If you're looking for something specific in the output pane, Minitab Express's Navigator can help. Simply click in the Navigator to jump straight to an item of interest. From the Navigator, you can copy output or delete items you no longer need. You can export output to PDF or HTML or print it. Minitab Express's Data Pane is similar in many ways to spreadsheets like Excel or Numbers. To enter data, you can type into the Data Pane manually, import data from a Minitab file or CSV file, or simply copy and paste data from another source. Worksheet columns have simple identifiers, C1, C2, and so on. Unlike many spreadsheet applications, the Minitab Express data pane has a row specifically for adding descriptive column labels. These labels make it easy to fill out dialog boxes accurately, and they make output easier to understand as well. Be sure to use this row to label a column, not the first data row. Now let's take a look at some of the tools and analyses available in Minitab Express. On the Edit and Data menus, you'll find a number of tools to help you arrange your data any way you like. For example, it's easy to add or delete columns, rows, or even single cells from the data pane. You can sort data numerically or alphabetically or convert stacked data to unstacked, or vice versa. Other tools let you alter your data or even create new data. You can recode data values into values that are easier to understand or analyze. Use formulas to create new data from old. Create your own pattern data or random data from a distribution, and much more. As you've probably guessed, Graphing tools and statistical analyses can be found on the Graph and Statistics menus. You can also access these same items through this toolbar. Here you'll find tools for many purposes. Graphing and describing the basic characteristics of your data. Making decisions about population parameters, like the mean. Investigating the relationship between response variables and predictor variables and analyzing and summarizing discrete and categorical data. The different tools are organized simply, but if you can't seem to find what you're looking for, use the Search field in the Help menu. Now let's run through a simple example of how you might use Minitab Express for a class assignment. Suppose your professor asks each student in class to record their gender and how much time they spent talking, texting, and surfing the web on a cell phone in the past 24 hours. Do men and women use cell phones for the same amount of time? You are to use a two-sample t-analysis to make the comparison and graph box plots to illustrate the time men and women spent using their phones. Include all of your analysis output in a report and interpret these results in your own words. First, retrieve the data for the analysis. Choose File, Open, then navigate to the data file and click Open. You can see that all of the time measurements are in one column, and a second column denotes whether the subject is male or female. Navigate to the tool by choosing Inference to Sample T. Immediately, you'll see that three data layouts can be accepted by this dialog box. But suppose you're not sure which one you have. Click the Help button to see a help topic illustrating the proper choice and how to enter the variables. Remember to click Help if you ever have trouble with the dialog box. You select Both Samples Are in One Column and double-click Time on Phone to enter it in Samples and 
gender in sample IDs. Now for those box plots. While you could create them separately using the graph menu, this analysis and many others let you easily create complementary graphs with just a few clicks. Click the Display tab and choose Box Plot. Click OK. Choose View Output Only to close the data pane and see more of your output at once. Completing the two sample T analysis for your homework assignment was easy, but can you explain what all of the output means? Simply right click the results and choose Help. By following the step by step guidance, you determine that cell phone usage among the men and women in your study is not significantly different. Finally, right click the analysis and choose Copy. Then paste the output into a word processor so you can complete your assignment. Back in Minitab Express, choose File, Save to save all of your analyses and data from this session in a single project that you can return to later. Looking for more practice with a particular tool in Minitab Express? Open the dialog box for the analysis you'd like to learn more about and click the Help button. In the Before You Start section, you'll find a step-by-step -step example that walks you through the analysis of a sample dataset. For additional self-guided exploration, check out our dataset library. Just click Help Datasets for over 100 additional datasets that you can use to practice new skills and explore alternate data layouts. For more information on Minitab Express, go to support.minitab.com/minitabexpress.